two passengers done screwed twice today but that is okay they did not use any lube and that's a joke $67 in two passengers should have been $107 if you really want to know watch my last video in the podcast that was the second video from today and I'll give you a bonus tip right now check this out before I get started before I get started and the bonus tip is this if you look in the background there's a video playing on the left I was listening to my own podcast while I was driving but look on the right hand side it says five minutes faster do not fall for this my friends if you take the toll roads I'm telling you if you take the toll roads uber will not pay you they will not pay you that is the lesson here that's the surprise I wanted to tell you I will take 10 minutes longer and drop off the passenger because if I'm not getting paid for the fast track, uh, I'm not taking fast track. Even though it's five minutes faster and Uber was trying to sneak it into me, I said, uh, hell no, Uber. Now, I'm going to turn on my ride or my Toyota Highlander 2021. You guys keep asking what kind of car I drive. And then we're going to get some gas because uh, I've already used up gas, 135 miles. I put in about 150 miles worth of gas, so we're going to go put in some more gas and then end up near Omnia La Costa Resort and I'm going to turn on the crappy rides right now because, you know, I need to make at least 15 bucks. So we're going to go ahead and turn on pets because it's not raining out here. We're going to turn on Uber X share and uh, no deliveries right now because I don't think deliveries pay and I don't think it's fair on the delivery side that the tip is included and the passenger after an hour can take the tip away and instead of twelve dollars you end up making five or six dollars that's bait and switch that doesn't work with uncle moose i will give you some more updates as we move along and um this is basically the fourth video of the day i believe i think i could be wrong and remember to like comment and subscribe what did i tell you once I turn it on and I start moving, it's going to start with lowball offers. But I have to show you one. Come on, otherwise it's not going to be fun. Right there, I added another $11.27 in gas. 2.5 gallons, I got to do that for a couple more days. My car is going in the shop next Tuesday. The part is here. It should get fixed. Something to do with the EVAP. I don't even understand it. It's called EVAP something. All right, if we look over here, you can see how much gas I've already put in. Oh, okay, correction. 10, 20, $31. Let's say I've put in $31 of gas. So for $31 of gas, I've made $67. So yeah, so roughly $37 is going in my pocket. And even that's not going in, right? Because I got to do my oil change today. Oil change is going to cost $78. $78 for the oil change. Yeah, I might have to make more than 150 today. Dear God, dear Jesus, dear Muhammad, dear Allah, dear Ra, Krishna, come on, hook a brother up. Hook a brother up. We are all out here struggling. Father, help us out. Grandfather, can you help us out? Because uh, maybe Jesus is on vacation still. Because I know people are still waiting for him to come. Maybe he's on vacation. I don't know, guys. All right, here we go. Okay, that dude at Arco is G-A-Y because I've never had somebody come up to me and help me with the whipping cream. I was getting coffee, my second cup, and he's like, sir, do you need help? I was like, yeah, this is frozen. It's not working. He's like, no problem. Let me come help you out. He was like the happiest guy I've ever seen, right? He helps me out. Then I go to the counter to pay for coffee, and he's just smiling at me. He's like, have a beautiful day. And I'm like, man, either my energy is like off the roof and uh, the dude is just really happy to see me or he's G-A-Y. And I don't mind, dude. Now I'm getting to a point where I'm like, dude, you got to respect everybody. If somebody likes you, um, there's no need to be afraid. There's no need to be uh, fear fearful about it, right? But I think it's kind of cool. It's like, and when I was leaving, he, the homeboy was like, Sam, by the way, Sam. Sam was like, have a beautiful day. <laughs> and he gave me that. And I was like, oh my God, dude, this guy likes me. The fact that he came and he helped me out was very nice because nobody helps me out when I'm part of get, get coffee and I'm clicking on that whipping, you know, that whipping cream machine? It's like sometimes it doesn't work at Arco. It's frozen, right? So I'll sit there and I'll like bang the shit out of it. And this guy was like, sir, hang on, let me help you out. And that smile, dude, I can't, I can't forget that smile.
Anyways, guys, we gotta mix it up, right? If I keep talking about Uber, uh, you guys are gonna get tired, right? So we gotta mix it up a little bit. Think of it this little, little, little bit of comedy for you guys. By the way, I'm gonna give a shout out right here to Mr. S Stefan. Uh oh, what are, what are you barking about? Yeah, shut up. Shut the hell up. Don't you see I'm talking? I'm, I'm working on my YouTube channel. I know you get a little jealous. I'll tell you guys, hey guys. Uh, Uber driver app is getting jealous of me. Anytime I go work a little bit, or I try to tell you guys about something that's going on, it starts doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Okay, check this out. Stefan is uh, commenting on my videos and teaching me. He's from Moreno Valley. I just, like, I'm like, this dude looks familiar. And Serge is interviewing him, so this is gonna be cool. Cause Serge has his own personality, right? And St Stefan has his own YouTube channel. I think it's like, here's the deal or something. Um, but I'm listening to this. This is gonna be fun because I, I don't know Serge that well, but Stefan and I we've been texting We've been talking and he's been commenting on my videos. I want to know what he has to say and I hope he's not nervous, right? Because uh, the dude has his own YouTube channel. Let me see if I can show you his YouTube channel. Hang on. I told you I told you I was like this dude looks familiar Here's the deal guys look him up. This is his channel right here. Here's the deal. He gives great advice great tips and um, he has he hasn't posted that much. I think he, less than a few week uh, less than a few weeks ago he started working on his channel. But check him out, right? He's got some good info, good info, and I've been learning from him. Trust me, I've been learning from him. And he's always correcting me in mistakes that I make uh, in a nice way, in, in, a, in a pleasant way. There's, I think there's a video he posted on how to deal, oh, how to rate your passengers. I mean, he goes into it. This one right here, right? I don't rate my passengers. I just give them five stars unless they are really bad, meaning they're so difficult and they're gonna make life difficult for other drivers and I'll give them one star. Either I give five stars to, I mean passengers. Either I give them all five stars or I give them one star. I just have a two rating system. Right when I started moving, it's going up. It's gone up from $3 to $5 to $6, but you know what? We're gonna say F that shit. F that shit, man. We don't want that. We're, 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 we're people of God. We want God money. God money is what? No. Oh, I'm the only driver, huh? You little stupid app. Why don't you give me $16? You give me $16, I take it. In fact, give me $69. Give me $69 and I'll take it. Some people credit us. They watch us and they go like... That's distracted driving. That's dangerous, Uber. Uber algorithm, you're gonna go to jail. If you're ever in a body, like a robot body, you're gonna end up in jail. I was getting gas. <laughs> I came back to $4.39. <laughs> hey, by the way, this gas station is cheap. It's called Mosin, M-O-H-S-E-N gasoline. $3.86. I think that's the cheapest gas I've seen. And this is in Oceanside, if you're looking for it. And Mosin is a Pakistani name. I didn't know Pakistani people had gas stations. I wonder if you'll hire me. There you go, see? I got it in my notes, and it's nice and red. We're gonna remember Uncle Mosin. Thank you, Uncle Mosin. Point where, like, I gave them that perception where they need to give me one star, so, you know, it could have been one of those little gimmicks they were trying at the time to maybe get a free ride, I'm not sure. Uh Okay, there you go. I was driving. I saw 44 bucks. I don't know any other detail, but that $44 and I think back to Orange County on a Thursday. Look, they've been screwing us all day on upfront fares, so hopefully it's not as bad as the last one. 44 for I'm hoping at least 50, maybe 55 miles, but I'll find out because now I'm about to park and read up on this bad boy. And notice when I was about to leave, it gave it to me. Before that, at least, guys, I'm telling you, before that, at least 10 $4 rides, $6 rides, $11 rides. It slowly works its way up. Once it knows I'm leaving and I'm, I'm gonna get on the freeway and my ass ain't coming back, uh, it'll give me the $44 ride.